Welcome back to Spyro. Uh, I did some grinding, I've leveled up the lightning to plus one. Fire is all the way upgraded, and I also put a level into the firebomb, so... Didn't stay there for, like, hours and hours and hours, like, upgrading absolutely everything, but I've upgraded enough. I have upgraded enough. So, fire plus three is gonna be, like, insanely, like, super good and helpful, so... Sorry, I just had to pause for a sec there, my phone was going off, and I wanted to hang it up. Because my phone does not need to be going off while I am trying to record. Okay, so we'll just continue past this part, and then, yeah, we will be more than capable of just moving on with this level because this is all you've really got to do here. You've just got to take down this tower that gives you the lightning ability and nothing else really. Oh my god, go away. I am trying to end this level. Come on, everyone die. Just everyone can die, please. Yeah, I don't want to go too far out, or I'm going to get killed, but these snowballs are so annoying. Alright, can I just, all of you just die now, please? Are you the last one? Yes, you are. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, finally. Now we can just move on. And play this level as usual and normal now. Hell yeah, we're good to go. Alrighty. Pretty sure there's another cutscene that's literally just starts like the second I'm through here. If I can stop running into the wall, that would be amazing. I can't skip this one either, it's one of those weird in-level cutscenes where you just can't skip it. I don't really understand why some are skippable and some aren't, honestly. It makes very little sense. Oh yeah, it's a big boy. There's more of these boys too. Ready for my plus three fire, my dudes? Yeah, plus three, yeah. Next I'm going to level up the firebomb and then we'll see how you go. Because this is going to give me a lot of blue gems. <clears throat> It'll be interesting uh, once I save to see on the save file how much time I actually did spend doing that. It cannot have been like any more than an hour, I don't, I wouldn't imagine. I really don't imagine that would have been more than an hour's worth of grinding. Hey, you got no health left. I hate when they just have that one tiny little bar left. Like, ugh, enough, bruh. I got two of them now. Oh my god. So many dudes. You know what? Screw it. Ultimate move. <clears throat> there we go. Because now we can use a flame again, thank god. Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh my god. Why- why are none of these connecting? Okay, you've got one health bar down, good. Oh my god, why are these guys, like... Come on! Oh my god, why did the ultimate move when you attack these guys only, like, not even get rid of one of the- Because they got two health bars, right? Why does it not even get rid of one full health bar? That's so annoying. Oh, on the bright side, the checkpoint apparently... Okay, well, okay, there are no stakes in this game now, then, now that I know that that's how the checkpoints work. 
So I can just keep throwing myself at these guys infinitely and know that they will never regain their health, apparently. So I can just keep throwing myself over and over again. Hell yeah. That's how I like it. <coughs> Way to blow up your own fortress, my dudes. It's like a war crime or something, isn't it, to kill your own guys like that. Oh yeah, monkeys, you guys are easier to fight. You guys are way easier than the skeletons. Way easier than the skeletons. I way more prefer the monkey dudes. Come on, give me some give me some health. Yeah, give me some health. Give me some health. Cause we are trapped between some dynamite here, my dudes. Oh my god, yes, we just died, but we got a health, health gem literally last second. That is perfect. Are you just stuck in the corner so I can just do this? Hell yeah. Screw you. Now we can continue on with the game, finally. I know it probably doesn't seem like I enjoy this game, but I actually do very much enjoy this game. I think this game is very fun. <clears throat> it's got a lot of good redeeming qualities, I find. <coughs> okay, there's no gems, no. I forget if I'm able to upgrade my health and energy bars, though. I can't remember if I can upgrade those or just like my, my specials. And we'll just put all the experience into the firebomb. We'll just keep just keep leveling that up, I reckon. Although I do remember Fire 3 doing a lot more damage than what it's doing right now. Like, honestly, I remember it being way more effective. I think Fire 2 is the most effective. I should have just stuck at Fire 2. Because it seems to have, like, lingering burn damage. This one doesn't really seem to be doing that. So Fire 2 has, like, lingering burn, Fire 3 doesn't. That's interesting. And yes, I am fully aware that I am referring to this as if it was, like, an upgrade in a friggin' Final Fantasy game. You don't have to tell me. Uh, yep, let's just tank the frame rate. <clears throat> let's shoot so many fireballs, we tank the frame rate. I love it. Oh, stop. Come on. Get out of my way. Let me out. Let me out! Stop! I don't want to get blocked in. I hate that. There we go. Jeez. I was, like, getting almost stun-locked like what I do to these guys. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Jackal Quester. Jesus. I thought that said Jelk Requester for a second. Jesus Christ, what the hell is wrong with my brain that that's what it thought that said? I need help. Like, I need help. Jesus Christ. God, I hate myself. I always think of stupid shit. Um, okay. I guess there's a running section. Where I can easily outrun it by just charging, I guess. <clears throat> Well, that was easy. Also, I just need to check this real quick, because I'm actually unsure about it. I need to check if, um, charging actually uses the green bar, the stamina bar. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna call it the stamina bar. Uh, I need to see if charging uses the stamina bar. Why did you kill your own men? Aren't you, like, on the same team? What is wrong with these war crime monkeys? Okay, so charging doesn't use stamina. Awesome. That is actually good to know. It's useful information. Yeah! That is how you just commit genocide right there. Oh god, where did that come from? Yeah! Strafe! Strafe fire! You cannot beat it! Call of Duty has taught me anything, it's that stray fire is the only fire. Oop, oop, oop. Okay, we're good. 
Yes. Yes. Die. All of you. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah, so strafing with Fire 3 is the most effective. Hey, 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 get out of here, Bloodcaster. Piece of crap. Shithead. I don't know why I bothered, like, censoring myself and doing, like, a way less offensive swear than what I was gonna say. It's unlike me. Oh, and we've got a super, uh, charged up for the next group, next big group. If we get another big group like this, we're just gonna use the Fury move. There we go. Is that enough? Is that enough? Come on, Fireball 2. Yes, Fireball 2. Hell yeah. Also, I don't think the Lightning ability has, like, a Lightning Ball that I can do, like the Fireball. I don't know, it's weird. Some abilities seem to do more than others in this game, but Fire is definitely just the most effective dominant strategy. Like, the other breaths are, like, so situational. I think that- I think the lightning and the ice are actually just, like, mostly used for puzzles. I don't actually remember them ever being, like, effectively used in combat. But I will- I will say, by the end of this game, I will try to make sure I've got every ability maximum charge. <coughs> Is this gonna actually even do anything? Oh, okay, that- that actually did a lot. Yeah! Oh, that was insanely effective! That was way easier than I expected. Oh, now there's two of them. Damn it, I used my fury move too early. I thought it was only gonna be one of these guys. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Everyone, everyone out of my way. Everyone out of my way. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Get out of there. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Strafe. Strafe. Just strafe. Strafe. Strafe it out. Strafe it out, baby. Are you just not gonna move? Is that what I am to glean from this? You're just- you're just happy just sitting there? Happy just sitting there letting me kill you? Alright, I'll take it. If you want to die, then you can die, mate. There you go. There you go. Thanks for just standing still for me, buddy. Oh man, not do they not these. I hate these. These are the worst enemy in the game. These actually are the worst enemies in the game. I hate these dudes. Oh great, I am out of all stamina. Come on, come on. Just let me break one of you. How are you not dead? Thank you. <clears throat> come on. Because, like, when you smash out their first health bar, they don't drop you any, like, anything. So it's, like, why, why do they need two health bars? Why can't they just be, like, every other enemy? But then again... This game taught me one thing, and that's that death does not matter. So I'm just gonna die, restart this bit, and just have them down at their, like, tiny health bars now. So this is perfect. Dominant strategy. Dominant strategy. Don't try. Don't try. You don't have to. I actually wonder if they'll, like, in the, the next game, if that'll be, like, still an effective strategy or not. Like, if they thought to fix that. Because I, I don't know, I've never played or even seen anything of the other games in this series. I actually am very good at keeping myself spoiler free. On pretty much every, every game I ever want to play or have played, I'm very good at keeping myself spoiler free on things. Oh baby, where is... Where is Vanilla Ice? He should be here, because this is cool as ice, what is happening in this level. Oh, come on. Just break them without getting injured. Fuck me, it's not that hard game. 
Why the hell would you design that? If you have to destroy them... You can't kill them with fire, mind you. I've tried. You can't actually break those with fire. So that's just a poor design choice. And I love pointing out, like, stuff that I don't like in games that I like because it just makes me appreciate all the stuff that I like even more. Because if anything, pointing out the flaws in something you enjoy actually shows that you're getting more out of it and you're actually taking it in. Okay, I guess we're in an arena battle now? Hey, you get out of here. Y'all get out of here. I killed your commanding officer. Come on. There we go. Come on. Are you stuck on the ice barrier? Can you not get back in the arena now? Okay, so no, the ice barrier doesn't actually affect this guy. That sucks. And... Come here. How come I can't jump over these barriers but these guys can just, like, freely go in and out of them? See? I can't get out of this. But these guys can. Which makes no sense. They should take damage. We dead? We're dead. Good. <clears throat> okay. Is that... Is that the way to just do this? Just ram them over? Nope. Where is Vanilla Ice? Where is he? He should be in this level. Cameo. Petition. Remake The Legend of Spyro A New Beginning. Keep the game the exact same. Like 100% the exact same. But just add Vanilla Ice to this level. And that is how you remake a game for a modern audience. You use a celebrity that is so outdated that I guarantee half the people listening to this will have no idea who I'm talking about. Because he really is a My Generation thing that never really transitioned past the 90s. Which is ironic that, like, he was the opposite of Cool as Ice. Do you know what the modern equivalent is? Ice JJ Fish. And if you don't know what Ice JJ Fish is, don't, don't, don't. Just, just don't, don't look it up, trust me. Save your sanity. Save your sanity. I wonder how- actually, I wonder how many views that Ice JJ Fish video even has now, because I, I don't even know if people even, like, know of Ice JJ Fish. People have to, right? Surely. That can't just be, like, a weird niche thing that, like, m my circles, like, know about. He'd have to hit mainstream by now. He has to be mainstream. Surely Ice JJ Fish is mainstream by now. I'm gonna look that up the second I finish this episode. Oop, and we got a fury attack. Hello, little things. Whatever you are. Hell yeah. Oh, come on! Why? Why would you design these barriers? Is that actually even working? It is, but it's way less effective than just smacking them. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Frost touch. I don't want to know what the frost touch is. That sounds like the world's worst sex move. Come here, baby. I'm gonna give you the frost touch. Oh my god, why do they call you the frost touch? I'll show you why, baby. Because I make you cold and dry. Cold and dry? Shouldn't you make me hot and wet? Nope. That ain't the ice touch way. Ugh, so much destructible stuff in this game. Man, 2006 really was like a different era in gaming, man. Like, 2006 had the best games. 
Anything up to 2012, actually. You know what? 2012 is when, is when gaming fell off. I'm just gonna use the special move here. I can't be bothered. I just wanna get this done with. Because it's just gonna keep throwing these guys at me regardless. So I'll probably be able to get another Fury attack up before the next segment anyway. This game's usually pretty generous with that sort of stuff. Come on. Thank you. You die to, um... Div dive Lizard? What the fuck does that mean? You're just making shit up now. You're making shit up now, game. Okay, that is actually, like, hitting and doing, like, significantly good damage to these guys. Come on. There we go. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. Sailor Hunter. That's at least a profession. That actually at least sounds like a profession of, like, a hitman. Like, I'm a professional Sailor Hunter. Like... My profession in Hitman is, uh, people that work on boats and navy vessels. So I'm the Sailor Hunter. Uh, Fall Cutter. That means nothing to me. I don't know what a Fall Cutter description of a job is. I don't know if knocking all these pots actually does anything, but they're there and I want to knock them over. Okay, we good? Can I blow these up with fire? Sparking. Oh, I can! For- mm, Ooh, that's a very good AoE. I need to keep that in mind for if uh, they come up in uh, combat scenarios. Come on, go backwards, Spyro. What's the point of stray fire if you're gonna be so slow about it, man? Come on. There we go. Okay, we good? We good. Smash this door, because you guys don't deserve a door. Wait, am I? Was that attacking them through the wall? What was that? Oh, hell yeah, we got like a full level pool right now. There we go, almost got fire completely leveled on all fronts now. Hell yeah. That's what I want. I really need to get a HDMI splitter so I can record PS3. Because as, as Chad Walden says, PS3 make the best games. Nah, I'm just- I, I just want to get a HDMI splitter so I can record Demon Souls, honestly. Like, the original version. I, I'm not a- I'm not a huge fan of the Demon Souls remake. I think it messed with- It doesn't feel the same, is the best way I can describe it. It feels like they, like, messed with the controls or something. Like, it's a really- it, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing remake. Like, it is amazing. I love it. I love it so much, but- the original PS3 version is the definitive way to play Demon Souls. The PS5 version is just good because the graphics are like... Holy hell, they're like god tier. They're so good. Especially at like 4K. Like when you run that at like 30 frames 4K... Because yeah, I'm pretty sure that game is uh, 30 frames a second at 4K, but... That's fine because I'm pretty sure the original PS3 version is 30 frames. Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck, I did not realize that would happen. Please don't get rid of my fury charge. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't. It'd be so funny if it respawned those gems. Alright, um... Uh, what? Okay. <clears throat> we good. We good, man. We good, man.
This, this is looking very boss fight. Or like, big battle. Big open area in a game like this. You in for some shit. Or am I just supposed to run through? Um, why can't I charge? Let me charge, baby. Let me charge, motherfucker! Oh! Had to wait for a cutscene to trigger, of course. The fucking what? Hey, Bat. Goodbye, Bat. Goodbye, Dreadwin. I, I feel like you were very, uh, overhyped, my dude. Overhyped. Overhyped. Overhyped like most of the games on 7th gen consoles. Overhyped like Nintendo 64 graphics. Overhyped like the Atari Jaguar. There we go, that's what I was looking for. The Nintendo 64 is good, I like the Nintendo 64. I don't know why I, I don't know why I talked smack on it just then. I like the Nintendo 64. Scott Kong Spat, Ferdinand, and Banjo Kazooie, how can you not like it? Two of the best games ever made. Come on. Battle Eater. How do you eat a battle? You're just not even trying with these names anymore. Not even trying with these names anymore, boy. What is hitting me? It's clearly not these guys. They only just spawn. So what is hitting me? I don't like the scream these things make. I don't like it. Yeah, can you not, like, move me away from where, like, the stuff I need to live is, please, game? Oi! Oi! You're not allowed to stun lock. That's my bit. This is my shtick. Well, at least I'll just respawn with you guys at, like, no health and me at full stamina. You ready for- you ready for this, uh, Dreadwinds? Why can't I charge for that long? That is so annoying. Oh wait, did your health actually respawn? Are you use the first enemies that your health is respawned. I think you might be. Oh, come on. Stop. Hey! Thank you. Hey! Stop that. Piece of shit, eat this. Eat that. Oh, don't, don't give me more. Come on. I'm just gonna try and just blast these fireballs as fast as humanly possible out of. No, oh, what the fuck? Come on. Snake breaker, pearl tracker. Do what are these professions and how do I get into them? I'm just waiting for one of these guys to just be like Charizard Hunter or some crap. Okay. What? Stop. Stop. Stop! Die, please! Give me that. Give me them gems. You, Dreadwing, get out of here. Get out of here, you done? You dead? We good? Can I move on with my day? Can I move on with my life? There's so many enemies spawning. What is this? Falcon Swinger. That would have made more sense if it was like Falcyon. Because that's at least like a sword. How is that not damaging you? Die. God damn. 
You were not behind the barricade. He was not behind the barricade, game. That is so fucking bull. Come on. This is a lot of dudes, my dudes. This is a lot of dudes. Why are there so many dudes? This is too many dudes. Die. 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 Just die. Just die. Okay, we done? Thank you. Is that all the- Oh my god. Oi. Oi. Do, do these guys just spawn forever, or is this, like, actually a sequence? Because, like, I actually have no idea right now. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna see if I can just run away. I'm gonna see if this is just, like, infinite spawn sequence. Nope, it's not. It's- it's not. I actually have to just do this. This is just a combat section. Like, a massive combat section. Holy hell. Oh, so close to all the way. Damn it. Cult dance. Cut dancer. What does that even... What does any of this mean? This is just random words that you thought sounded cool, wouldn't it? Because I'm not going to lie. 2006 me, I would have... I would have... No wonder I loved this game. I would have been like, Oh man, his name is Bloodcutter. That's cool. I wonder what that is. Um, excuse me. Die, you prick. Die! Why aren't you taking da Why do they just not take damage sometimes? They're, they're not blocking. I know when they're blocking because they have a specific animation for it. Okay, is that should be enough to push us over the top now. Or not, apparently we've collected no upgrade material? Thank you. You were the easiest one to kill so far and I thank you for that. And yeah, I'm just not picking up upgrade material anymore for some reason. Okay, he's blocking now. Now he's not. Why are you guys not dropping, like, blue gems no more? Why are they not dropping blue gems no more at the end of that? That was bull. Why couldn't I just run through there? I, I knew I had to go through here. Why couldn't I just run through here? I hate this. Come on, David Sparks. Lead the way, my boy, my dude, my man, my bra. Love you, David Spade. I don't know if that's a the bad thing to say or not, because I don't know if he's controversial, but I think David Spade's funny. I think Adam Sandler's not too bad either. He seems like a cool dude. <clears throat> oh, cool. More combat. We just finished a whole bunch of it, but more combat. Why not? Hey guys. Bye guys. I didn't have any stamina left. I need your- I need your green. Give me your green. Why are none of these guys dropping blue? Why are none of these guys dropping blue gems? Oh my god, there's not even blue gems coming out of these now? What? The fuck is going on? Why are there no blue gems popping out? Dudes, where's my blue gems? I need- I need to fucking level up! I- I need to level up, why- do I have to use this to get blue gems now? That better not be the case. That better not be the case. I do not want to be forced to use this fucking useless lightning shit. Um... All of it was easy, David Sparks. Boss fight? Boss fight. Please, please boss fight. I need it. I need a boss fight in my life. Hello, 
suburban commando. What is your name? Is it Doof? I'm gonna call you Doof, because you look like a big doofus. Ice King. Okay. Okay. An enemy that has an actual name. Okay, lightning actually is effective? What? Oh man, that frame rate be tanking, yo. Oh god. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I just need the gems. Okay, okay. Spyro! Are you fucking kidding me, man? How do you not hit? Okay, phase two. Phase two. Oh, come on, what is with this lock-on system? Oh my god, no! Fuck! The worst possible combination. A boss fight in an ice arena. Oh, cut. What is with the lock on, man? Lock the fuck on! What is the point of having a lock on? What is the point of having a lock on if it doesn't actually lock on? I was gonna point blank smack the fuck out of you then. Okay, last phase. Last phase. Please let this be the last phase. Spyro, don't just stand there. Smack him off the edge. Oh, I'm flat. I am 2D. Okay, so apparently just not locking on is more effective than locking on. Thanks for that, game. Okay, let's retry this phase then, I guess. Why are you shooting it above him? Why are you shooting above him? Shoot him! Fuck me! What is wrong with this? Come on. Oh no, come on. Get away. Oh my god, no. Come on, move Spyro. Okay, health. Health is good. Come on, come on, come on. No, don't attack. Jump, you fuck. I wasn't clicking the attack button, you fuck. Can we actually lock on to this motherfucker, please? No, we're just gonna- Apparently we're locking on to the dragon all the fucking way over there. Oh my god, I'm just gonna try and brute force the fuck out of this. Brute force beat the fuck out of this boss, that's what I'm just gonna try and do. No, brute force. 
Why is the lock on not fucking locking on? He is the only thing in the entire fucking arena. He's the only thing here. Lock on to him. Why are you laughing? You didn't do anything. I'm winning, you fuck. Done. Come on. Come on. There. Done. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Fix your goddamn lock-on system. The fuck? When did you, like, just wake up? When did that happen? I feel like we missed the scene. I'm the fast-talking New Yorker. Don't you love me? I'm the greatest stereotype of all time. I agree. I agree, David. I agree. I don't know, man. Yes, the, the only other dragon that we've met besides you, my dude. There's gotta be at least two more, because there's still two more elements we haven't unlocked yet. Voltier, of course his name is Voltier, and of course he's a lightning dragon. Now teach me the lightning bomb already. Back to Cinder. She was doing what to Keep it in your pants there, David Sparks. Batteries exist in this world? I haven't seen like any like technology that would really indicate that to me. Let's do this. Perhaps, perhaps what I do. Before Cinder can power any more of those orbs, I'm a better voice actor than all of ya. I don't know. I'm kidding. A shit voice actor. Okay, I'm skipping this cutscene. I'm done. I don't want to listen to this anymore. Oh my god, is this another combat tutorial? Please tell me this isn't another combat tutorial. Please tell me this isn't another combat tutorial. I can't handle another one of these. I don't want to do another one of these. Please no. No. I forgot about these. Oh, I forgot about these segments. Please just be like, here's an ability. Here's how to use it. Don't make me do like 40 billion fucking moves. I swear. Press and hold to shock the dummy. Oh, please. Please let this be as in-depth as this tutorial gets. There, we done. We good. What's that? You gonna you gonna teach me how to just do the electricity ball? Shock them with your oh no, not another one of these. It is literally the exact same tutorial. You did not need to do this again, game. You did not need to do this again. You did not need to give me more than one of these tutorials. It's at least easier. Like the electricity breath at least like homes in on them.
Okay, there, we done. Now just teach me how to do the electricity bomb. That's all I care about, my dude. I don't need to know all of this basic crap. Thank you. Is that what I had to do? That's really wildly inaccurate. Shut up. We done? Can we move on now? Press triangle to throw an electric arc at the dummy. This will entrap it in a cage in the air. Run up and press X to jump up to meet it. Then proceed to melee the dummy. Well, how come it's not launching it in the air then? There, now it is! Jesus, that was way more stupid than it had to be. Alright. Throw an electric arc at the fleeing dummies. An aerial melee them when caught- oh, Jesus Christ. Why does it have to give me these stupid tutorials? I don't care. Like, just- I can figure out the, how to do this through actual gameplay. Why is this so fucking inaccurate? Jesus Christ. How am I supposed to jump and melee if they're just- like, impossible to get this thing to lock onto. Oh, come on. Come on. This is the worst. I hate the lightning so much in this game. There, done. I'm just gonna spam the fuck out of it and just hope it hits him. Is that all of them? No, I've still got this dumbass. Okay, we done. Are we done now? Why is it giving me these tutorials? I don't need this. I could just figure this out through actual gameplay. Feeding small enemy. Okay, good. Can we just do this? So I literally just get to now do the fury move and then we're done with this, correct? At least it ain't as bad as the first tutorial where it made me do like 50 billion different stupid moves that barely register. Like if this game had a combo list it'd be like this on like equivalency of like Street Fighter I think or like Mortal Kombat. But y you don't need to use any of those moves because like as we've seen you can just brute force everything in this game and just keep trying until you eventually win because there's no penalty for death. Which I'm very appreciative of because I don't want to have to learn how to do it with a gazillion different moves. Oh no, why? I didn't hit the- I didn't hit the- No! Oh, did I just waste it? Oh, I totally just wasted it, didn't I? Because this game sucks. Hurry the fuck up. Why can't it just give me, like, a bunch of purple gems and just cut this out? Like, just give me purple gems and say, use your fury ability. Like, just give it a try. Because now I've seen it. It's not special anymore. Now I've just got to build up the fury meter again until the big guys spawn. Alright, can we be done now? Okay, we've got a Fury Meter. We've got a Fury Meter. Despawn these guys. Thank you. Fuck me. God. Get out of here, you pricks. Are we done? Thank you. Finally. Can I move on to the next fucking level now, please? Oh my god.
finally. I'm so glad that stupid tutorial's over. On the bright side, I was able to go grab a friggin' drink while I was waiting for that stupid statue to come back up. Ignitus, your eyes look all sorts of wrong, my dude. There we go. I'd rather not, though. I agree. I agree with that statement. Also, what the hell do you care, Sparks? I think you're doing fucking anything. So Spyro. The Atlawa, really. I remember this level vaguely. I remember this level, I'm pretty sure I liked it. I very vague, vague memories of this level. <coughs> oh, pardon me. I think from memory this game's pretty short, actually. I don't actually think there's many levels. True. Yep. He absolutely is. It's Elijah Wood. He took the ring, Sparks. You don't know. You weren't there. You didn't take the ring. He did. He had to carry the burden. Him and Samwise were like gay sexual icons. Oh, we're finally getting blue gems again. Did I get any experience for destroying that boss? No, I did not. Jesus Christ. Fuck this game. Why can't I just... There, thank you. Okay, so I'm getting blue gems again. So I'm going to switch to the fire breath. And I'm going to see if I kill them while I've got the fire breath if it gives me blue gems. It does, good, because I don't want to use the electricity breath. I really hate the electricity breath in this game. It's fun when it's at, like, lightning three and you can just start, like, throwing motherfuckers around, like, arenas, but, like, other than that, until it's at level three, I really just don't want to use it. Oh no, it's the Surf Ninjas! I don't know why I said that. I don't know why that was what came to mind. What is wrong with me? Why do I always think of just these weird fucking references that have nothing to do with anything? Like, why of all things did I think of Surf Ninjas? It's not even like that bad of a movie, honestly. Like, a lot of people hate it. Honestly, there is way, way, way less enjoyable movies out there than Surf Ninjas. I think the Nostalgia Critic, like, hates that movie, but, like, I don't know why Surf Ninjas is nowhere near the worst movie I've ever seen. It's actually quite enjoyable. If you just take it for what it is, Surf Ninjas is super enjoyable. Alright, hop back up. I'm just gonna keep doing this until you're dead. I'm not throwing your dynamite back at you. That's the- that's the slow, dumb way to do it. That's the basic bitch way of killing you. Ah, oh, damn it, I can't get on the geometry. What a disappointment. Oh, do I? Oh, I've gotta go this way, don't I? Wait, but how do I get up there? There's gotta be a way up there. Can I...? There's gotta be a way up there, because there's, like, gems and everything up there. I'm not gonna worry about it, or I'm gonna be here all day trying to figure it out. I'm just gonna assume that the game just does it for me. Blue gems. It's been so long. Oh, what? No, that's not fair. 
You're not allowed to put buttons that activate traps in a game like this, because you've never done that as a mechanic before now. Okay. That was random. Pfft. Easy. Easy! Your cannon... Nothing. Nothing. Your cannon is nothing to me, boy. That was easy. Why did they build that up so much? That was so easy. That was not worth a cutscene. That was so basic bitch level easy. Oh no, they kidnapped... That... Thing. <clears throat> what in the fuck is happening? Wait, he's our enemy? Why do we know he's the enemy? The enemy of our enemy is our friend. How do we even know he's an enemy? We haven't seen anything. Dance Dash. Really? That's what you came up with? There, get off the ledge. Get off the ledge. Yes, you do. Yeah, I agree. Screw this guy. Wow, you're a douche, man. Douche. You have David Spade in your game as a voice actor. Just make him call the guy a douche. Just put the game up to like a PG rating, man. Trust me, you'll sell more copies. You will sell more copies if you let David Spade be David Spade. It'd be like having PewDiePie in your game and not letting him say, Hey bros. Easy. And there should be some gems up here, hopefully, if they didn't despawn, and they despawned. Of course they fucking did. Why wouldn't they? Uh... Ha ha! I knew there had to be some gems. There's always gems. Bueller. Bueller. That, that guy should have been this. Okay, so it's this. But that would have been way, way better to know back when I actually needed it before. That is not fair. Enough with the trick traps. That's so not fair, game. It's not cool. And why didn't you tell me that I could smack the fuck out of these things with my ground smash like earlier? I feel like that would have been really good information to have. Okay, so now I'm just gonna smash this one. Okay. Now I just gotta get back up there, and then I think we're good. Okay, so now I've gotta go all the way back around to get back up there, I'm pretty sure. Level design! Also, I never realized before, but... Damn, the render distance on this game is... Very short. I thought- I remember it being longer than that. But then again, this was released in 2006, so that would explain why the graphics on a PS2 game look like on par with a, three, with, with a PS3 or 360 game. Probably closer to a PS3 game, I always thought that PS3 looked worse than Xbox in a lot of ways. Where am I supposed to go from here? Am I supposed to go up here? Ok, 
Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to go up here. This level, yeah, I do remember enjoying this level because it had, like, a lot more, like, ideas in it. Like, stuff like that. Like, that's not in, like, any other level as far as I remember. Like, actually having, like, multiple different ways, like, using the same corridor a bunch of different ways. I don't remember any other level doing that besides this one. Except for maybe the final level. I think the final level had some pretty cool ideas. Come on. Cedar Claw. Interesting name. Interesting name, indeed. Okay, we dead. We good. But the Surf Ninja's gone. Why have I got Surf Ninjas on the fucking brain right now? God, I really want to watch Surf Ninjas, apparently. I must just actually just want to watch Surf Ninjas again. Because, like, I cannot stop thinking about it, and I don't know why. You see, now these guys, you would have much better chance if you would bend your knees, use your arms. I'd need to watch Surf- Okay, that's it. After I finish recording this episode, I'm watching Surf Ninjas because, like, I'm sick of, like, Surf Ninjas being in on my brain. I need to watch it. I need to get it out of my system again. I need, to I need to watch that movie at least once every, like, year just to get it out of my brain. I'm just lucky. I'm just lucky that I've gotten it out of my system within the first month of 2023. At least I'm not thinking about it in, like, friggin' September being, like, I should watch Surf Ninjas. No, now it's in my head now, so I can get it out of the way early this year. Get the annual Surf Ninja. Okay. Now, level up. Done. What? I don't know what that means, brah. Gonna level with ya. No idea what that means, eh? I'm guessing it's good, though. Otherwise, why would they give it a name and an announcement? What are these things? Like little mouses? Mice? What are they? There we go. Alright. Alright. You know what? I think I've been playing this for like an hour or something now. Like this session, so... I might leave this episode here. I'll come back, finish the level in the next episode. And... Yeah, we'll finish this in the next episode. I reckon that'll be the best way to do this, so... Until next time... Enjoy, my dudes. I'm gonna go watch Surf Ninjas and then record some more of this.